Visi is an online video editor where you can create audio reactive visualizers. And in this video, I'll show and demonstrate some of the things that you can do. When you open up the editor, there's a basic project set up for you. There's an image, particles, and a spectrum. These are your layers. And you can think of layers as containers for your visualization items. They can either have an orthographic camera for 2D items or a perspective camera for displaying 3D items. If we go into the 3D mode, you can see the difference. So these are for items that has a depth such as particles. You can change the scale, the position, the rotation, and there's a bunch of different settings for each item. Explaining them all is out of the scope for this video, but I'll go through a few of them. If we turn off the solar mode, we can, for example, create a mirror effect. Add some vignette. Or we can change the image altogether. We can add another layer. Place it in the back, add a shader item. We can add some text. Pretty much everything in Visi can be animated and you can do that either by recording an animation or by clicking add automation. First you select which controller you want to automate. Let's increase the scale or the size of the text. And there's three types of automations, keyframes, Audio impact, which is for making something react to audio in various ways. And you can even write your own mat formal if you want. Let's add an audio impact automation. Here you can see the size is increasing and reacting to the audio. Let's also record a keyframe. So let's start from zero degrees rotation, and then rotate 360 degrees. And in the automation tab, you can see all your automations. So here you can see the audio impact automation we added for the scale. And the keyframe we added for rotation. And here's some defaultly added automations that makes it easier to, for example, increase the scale of the spectrum or to add a fade-in effect. Unless you have a really good computer, 
It's recommended that you use a lower resolution when you're creating your video for maximum performance. Let's customize the spectrum a little bit. There's a bunch of different presets that you can use for inspiration. Let's create something from scratch. Here you can change the spectrum type. And we can have multiple layers. And you can change the way the colors are added. You can add a feather effect. Each layer is connected to an audio analyzer. And the audio analyzer determines how this layer reacts to audio. Going through what every setting do is outside of the scope of this video. But you can, for example, change the frequency. Or you can change the output multiplier. You can shift the frequency. And a bunch of other things. If you want to, you can even add your own custom shape. Let's create a simple triangle. Move it around. Before we export the video, let's also add an effect. You can do that either by pressing this button here or by going into the effects tab and clicking add effect. You start off by selecting a target and the effects are applied to the layers. So even if you select the text or spectrum as a target, the effect will apply to both the spectrum and the text. Let's add a camera shake effect on the background. And increase the amplitude. Or we can add a kaleidoscope effect when you're happy with your video go to file export choose your resolution Start exporting. Now your video has been downloaded. Let's see the result. If you want to, you can save the project or you can publish it to the creation page where people upload their creations. So let's publish our project. Okay, that's it for this video. I hope you learned something and uh, good luck, have fun.